Hi, this is Asima with another tip for Star Trek Fleet Command. So you're minding your own business, mining resources, or maybe you're grinding hostiles and you get called away. Or maybe you're doing missions and you're reading the mission text. When suddenly, out of the blue, you're attacked, you're destroyed, and the dreaded icon with the skull shows up on your dock. What do you do? Well, in this video, I'll show you what are the steps that you can take and to resolve, try to resolve the situation. So first, before anything else, is to take a deep breath. If it's your first time being attacked, you might feel shocked that anyone would want to attack you. Your second and third feelings are probably anger and revenge. Before it goes too far, just take a step back. Attacks and base raids are part of the game and aren't personal. So it isn't a personal attack on you. It happens all the time. And for at this point, you don't know the circumstances around the attack. So what do you do first? Well, you need to check if the attack was legitimate under the rules of engagement. So if you open your log and uh, select on the event, uh, check if you were OPC or not. So if you look on the screen in the middle, it says no cargo lost. So I was definitely not OPC. Uh, the second possibility is uh, zero node clear. And you'd have to check your message log and see if you received any messages um, having a zero node warning. You could also be uh, a warship on warship encounter. And under ROE, warship on warship is always okay. So you were attacked and I mean, the other person wasn't very nice, but it's still okay under the rules of engagement. So after checking that, and you still don't know the reason, the next step is to message your attacker. So you can click on their name and their profile will come up and you can click on the chat button and start a conversation. One thing I want to point out is you should be uh, respectful, sending a respectful message to your attacker. You don't want to send a very bad message to your attacker. The reason why is I've, I've always found that bad words won't get the right response um, from the other side. So if you, if you respond unkindly, you'll get unkind words back and you won't get what you want, which is a reason for the attack. Uh, so you want to give it some time. Uh, you know, people are busy, so they won't be able to get back to you right away. They may be offline, so give it a little time um, for their response. Now, let's say that you've waited for a bit and you haven't got a message back, or you might have got a snarky message back. Or maybe you did get a reason. In any case, if it's unsatisfactory, the next step is to kick it up to your leadership. And they can provide uh, advice. They can intervene on your behalf with the other alliance or player. And when you do talk to your leadership about uh, the attack, Make sure you send them screenshots uh, of the attack and screenshots of the message chains are very helpful. And then you sit tight. While leadership is sorting it out, it doesn't help if you take matters into your own hands. You'll just end up undermining your own case. So just sit tight. Um, and the leadership will talk to people on their side and see 
if there's something that can be done. And usually the resolution goes one of three ways. Uh, one, the alliance is a rogue alliance and doesn't respect the rules of engagement. Uh, once this is determined, uh, you're free to practice reciprocal you know, rules of engagement, meaning if you get hit, uh, you can hit back. And in particular, our alliance marks uh, rogue alliances with the red panda sign or the unfriendly sign so that uh, it's easier to see uh, unfriendly or rogue alliances in a system. Uh, the second way is if you have the clear screenshots and uh, a, a clear violation of the rules of engagement, uh, you might get an apology and promises to stop the harassment from uh, the other side, which is the best outcome. And the third uh, outcome, possible outcome, is uh, no apology and nothing definite coming from the other side. And unfortunately, this case happens often. Um, usually, if there were extenuating circumstances like uh, tit-for-tat retaliations, uh, snark in the message chain, uh, all of those things, you know, when taken into account, really, uh, you know, if you were unkind, sent if you were, if you sent unkind messages, um, it really doesn't help your case. Um, now, thinking of all these the three possible outcomes, it leads into the philosophical question: What do you want? from the attacker? What is the resolution that you want? Do you want revenge? Uh, do you want an apology? And is it worth it to pursue alliance mediation? Sometimes it's easier just to acknowledge that there's trolls in the game or there are people who are, want to power flex and just move on. If you feel really strongly about it or you you feel persecuted, of course, don't hesitate to speak up to your leadership. They'll try to defend you as best as you can. And if it's really egregious and things do get out of hand, it can lead to a, a war between the alliances. But that would be a topic for another video. Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, thanks to Dogstar01 for helping out with this video and uh, we'll see you in the next one.